the economy we'll encounter when we leave this recession will be very different from the one we knew before we entered. And that economy will require more and more post-secondary education and training. Uh, indeed, uh, I think uh, it's fair to say uh, that we've come to the point uh, where we've been headed for quite some time. Uh, that is that if you don't have some kind of post-secondary education or training, uh, that you will uh, have a, a much reduced chance of earning a, a, a middle-class wage. 63% of all jobs will require some college or better by 2018. Uh, that understates the case. The reason is uh, the jobs at the bottom, that is the jobs that require high school or less, uh, there are many more. Uh, th those jobs are more temporary. People tend to pass through them. Uh, a substantially smaller share of them are full-time uh, than the jobs that uh, do require post-secondary. Uh, there's lots of turnover. Uh, in a uh, cashier job over our cycle, our pr uh, forecast cycle, for every one new job, uh, there are uh, 13 uh, people who uh, replace that person in, in that one new job. Uh, in the case of, of a doctor, a surgeon in this particular case, uh, for every new job, there is about 0.8 uh, replacements. Uh, what that means in the end is that there are uh, transitional jobs that some people get stuck in, much to their uh, harm uh, in the end, uh, leaves them in the ranks of the working poor. Uh, and then there are career jobs where people tend to land and stay uh, for a long time. So you don't find, uh, you find lots of surgeons who might have been dishwashers at some point in their lives, but you don't find many dishwashers who were sur surgeons uh, before they took the dishwashing job. Uh, we get in debates all the time about uh, good jobs and bad jobs and so on. It's good to keep in mind that we tend to overestimate the bad jobs in terms of their numbers in the economy. Uh, in 2018, uh, we uh, uh, estimate uh, that the economy will need 22 million more uh, people with associates, bachelors, and graduate degrees. This is degrees only. doesn't include certificates. Uh, and uh, we'll need 4.77 million more post-secondary certificates. Uh, when we looked at this, uh, uh, these are new people with these uh, credentials and awards, uh, not people who are already uh, in jobs. These are fo the focus here is on job openings, uh, which is quite different than the total number of jobs in the economy. There's a hundred, we see 162 million jobs in the economy, 101 million require post-secondary. There will be 47 million job openings, jobs that will open up over the period. Uh, and uh, about 30 of those 47 will require post-secondary. Uh, in 1970, 60% uh, of high school graduates were in the middle class. And what we mean by the middle class, because there is no official definition, is people in the middle four deciles of the income distribution, not the top three or the bottom three. Uh, that had the number of people with uh, high school degrees uh, in the middle class now has dropped from the 60 and 7, 1970 to 45% currently. Uh, and that is more true for entry-level workers than it is for older workers. So this drop is really a, a fairly substantial uh, drop uh, in access to the middle class by education level. And in the case of high school dropouts, the share in the middle class since 1970 has fallen from uh, 46 percent to 33 percent. And so we see three million, and a growth in that shortage of three million people, which suggests that the wage differential will get worse, the earnings differential will get worse uh, over the next decade or so. Um, just to give you a bit of information about industry and occupations, of which there is uh, a thundering detail in this report, I have to warn you. Um, <laughs> We got interested. It was a dangerous thing. Um, over 85% of the jobs in four of the fastest growing occupations will require post-secondary education. Uh, and th those jobs make up about 30% uh, of all jobs in 2018. It's not a small number. Uh, and then uh, in the other case, in industry's case, uh, more than 75% of jobs in five of the fastest growing industries uh, will require post-secondary education, and those jobs make up 40% uh, of uh, overall employment in 2018. 
so these findings are robust both at the aggregate level and in detail.